Okay, question and answer. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. I have to look for them all the time because I, I put them in a file when, when you send me an email with a question. And, then, and the truth of it is, I do read them. I do read them. I try to get to them if I can, but some of them I answer by email because I can do it short and sweet that way. The ones I usually pick on are the ones where are the ones where uh, it's going to take a little while to ex to explain something. I try to pick those out. Ann P, Patreon member of mine. I appreciate Ann and all my Patreon members. I always take care of them first if I can. I'm available today if you are willing. Sunday, just doing Andre and all. Oh, she's a level four. My level four members, uh, I will call them each and every month. And they can talk on the phone. We, I usually do it FaceTime. I like doing FaceTime. I like to see who I'm talking to. And um, they can ask me and Sue anything they want. And we'll ask her questions. And a lot of people would rather do that than do it on the internet. And that's what they pay for on level four, basically, is to have that uh, special um, purpose to for me to make a call. So, yes, and... Um, I'll probably, this, when this comes up, I've already talked to you, <laughs> but I'll get Sue's at the pool. I will call you sometime today. <clears throat> By the way, my RV channel is doing pretty good so far. I'm getting regular new subs uh, each, like almost each and every day. I'm following their lead. They make comments. I, I take them to heart. I read them. And then I, it kind of gives me ideas of changes to make. So as time goes on, my RV channel videos will change a little here and there to uh, try to cover all the bases. See, new Patreon members, um, Arthur, new Patreon member, Fred, new Patreon member, and there was some more, I know. Um, I know I'm not mentioning everybody, but I know that Terry, thank you, thank you. Ronald, Pansica, thank you, thank you. Um, Natalie D. Stefano, looks like a level four. If you are a level four, uh, Natalie, if you want a phone call, you have to send me an email letting me know what date and what time, once a month. And I will call you. I'll FaceTime you is what I really want to do. But if you want me to just make a phone call, I'll do that too. Oh, that's from Robert. He's uh, from Australia. And he was telling me that I guess they got some heavy rains down there recently. It's probably their maybe rainy season. And I guess they've had a lot of wildfires down there. And I put them out. And now with the coronavirus, he was telling me, he sent me reports once in a while. that I guess people down there have been arrested having fights over toilet paper. And I just don't get it. I'm sorry. But I have learned some secrets that I'm not going to share on this channel. I might do it on my RV channel. People saying they can't find toilet paper, can't find toilet paper. And even here, the Walmart we went to, I took pictures of it. It's on the RV channel. Um, it, the shelves were empty. No hand sanitizer, no anything. And... Right away, I know things just from traveling the highway like I have. I told Sue, I said, um, let's go over here. We went over there and there was shelves of toilet paper and shelves of Lysol and hand sanitizer and all kinds of stuff because people just don't think about going somewhere else other than Walmart. That's all they think about, Walmart. I got a lot of uh, statements, you know, but uh, I have a question about property taxes. Do you get a discount at age 65? Uh, I don't think so in Florida. No, you get discounts for a lot of things, but the age thing, everybody in Florida, it seems like is over 65. S like senior citizens discounts, nobody down here is ever, in Florida, nobody has ever offered me one, ever. My dad got them everywhere up in Indiana. Everywhere he went. Senior citizen discount? Senior citizen discount? They always got a 10% off of everything. Everywhere he went. And uh, I told Sue once, I said, well, when I get, get to be to the point where I can get a senior citizen discount, so I'm taking it. And we moved to Florida. And no. <laughs> we just don't get them. And if we do get them, I don't know where they're at. But I do know that a lot of restaurants outside the villages, nothing inside the villages, outside the villages that if you show them your village's resident card they will give you a 10 percent discount one of those is next to home depot is panda express show them your village's resident id card and they will take 10 percent off your bill for one person 
So the thing to do, if you are if you and your wife are going there to have lunch, have her take her ID card, you take your ID card. I know it sounds goofy, but you get it. You pay for your meal and get 10%. She has to pay for hers and show that ID card and they'll give her 10%. If you have both of that put on one ticket, they'll only give you 10% off of one tray. So just so you know. And there's other restaurants outside the villages that will give you that discount, but you have to ask. They never volunteer it. Uh, I'm gonna put this on there. I sent him an email, but just in case other people may have the same question. David Tish sent me an email saying, um, says, uh, hello, would you be able to send me information about the villages in Florida through the mail? Yes, I can. I would be able to send you the $15 when you want it. I don't know where you got that number. Nowhere have you ever heard me say it's $15 to mail you anything. Um, I do I do charge because I have to go to the post office. I got They weigh it and whatever the weight is and of course depending on how far away you live is how much it's going to cost so i could mail something say in the state of florida for i don't know 10 15 dollars but that same package that goes to the state of washington may cost 30 dollars and that same package going to canada may cost 50 dollars so i don't know where you come up with that 15 dollar thing because you never heard me ever say that what I used to do, and I still do for that matter, is the village's maps. People want those maps, and I keep a bundle of them. Whenever they get them in, I grab a whole handful and keep them at the house for my people. And I charge $20 for both maps. There's a, a north map, north of 44, and a south of 44 map. And um, for us to go up to the post office, and I really hate charging 20 but I got to. And so I just charge $20 for us to go up there to the post office and mail them to you. And I always say, if you're coming down to the Villages for a lifestyle visit, you can go to the Villages Mercantile Store. That's where they sell Villages t-shirts, everything with the Villages name on it. And you can buy those same maps for 5 bucks. So don't pay me 20 if you're coming down. Just go ahead and get them there. And matter of fact, real estate guy may even give them to you. But for me to get in the car and drive up there and all this and that, it's 20 bucks. Um, other than that, the only special I've really ever done on those maps is on the last WNL show, Wednesday night live show. Uh, I did offer a special on, I think, four of them, if I remember right, four of them. I think I said for a $10 super chat, um, I would... I would mail them to you. It, would, it was just a special fun thing to do. That's why I'd done it. And, um, and I knew I was going to be leaving. And I figured when I got to the campground here, I could take them up and mail them, which is we could not. I had to go to the post office here, which happens to be 10 miles away. I had to go to the post office. And, but I got them all mailed and got the packages mailed and all this and that. So $15, uh, I just want to make clear, if you're watching this, I've never ever said I charge $15 to do any particular thing. It, depending on what you want, tell me what you want, tell me uh, things. I don't even know where you live at. Do you say here where you live? I'm not going to say anything. Uh, no, you don't. It doesn't say anything. No, nope. I don't know where you live. Um, but uh, tell me what you want, and um, I'll see what I can do, and I'll make it as cheap as I possibly can. And as a matter of fact, some of the things you may want, I may be able to send you a web address. Like if you want the, the local newspaper, you can get that on the internet free. I don't. I think I don't need to send you a newspaper at all. You can get a copy of the newspaper on the internet. If you want to see a, a picture of the homes for sale, the new homes for sale down there, and what they look like and how much are they, um, you can get that on the internet. I don't need to send you anything. So some of the things you may want, you might be able to get free, and I might be able to help you out there. So just let me know what you want to do, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, with that being said, I'm getting out of here. Each and every one of you, it's a beautiful day in downtown Rockport, Texas. 84 degrees. Mm, kind of sunny. Sue's at the swimming pool. I think I'm going to hop on my electric bicycle. Yes. Electric. Yeah. And I might go up there and sit in a hot tub. Spring break is in full swing here. And uh, what am I going to say? I got plenty of toilet paper, plenty of hand sanitizer. If you guys can't find hand sanitizer, I'll let you in on a little secret. Peroxide. It does the same thing. 
Later, Gator. See you guys on the other side.